Hello, this is Steve Krause from GroovyPost.com, and today we're doing a little something different. Today I'm going to show you a little tip here from my home office, so welcome. Uh, the tip is going to be on how to reset the toner uh, life on a Brother laser printer. Now, in my example here, I have the MFC L3770 CDW. Uh, now, I just did the trick, so I just fixed it, but I'm still going to show you how to do the tip. Um, on the black cartridge. If you take a look at, in my example, you tap on the toner and then you tap on the toner life. Uh, you can see my black toner cartridge, uh, it's about 40% empty. It's got about 60% life back in it. Uh, but an issue that I've been having previously before I found this trick is my cyan had run out and um, I was no longer able to print. Uh, the printer won't let you print uh, in black and white. Um, it, it just it stops you dead in the water. The only exception is um, for iOS. If you're running an iPhone, you can still print with uh, uh, AirPrint as well as on a Mac. But if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, uh, it you're dead in the water. So how does it work? Uh, well, unfortunately, um, the Brother printer, what it does, I believe, is it doesn't really have a great way of keeping track of how much toner powder is actually in the cartridge. So I think it's just a very simple counter mechanism. Every time you print and you use color uh, from any of the toner cartridges, I just think it increments by one up. And when it hits a certain magic number, boom, it must be empty. So time to go spend another hundred bucks uh, to buy a new cartridge. Uh, that can be expensive. And it's a waste of money if you still have 50% of toner life in uh, the, the cartridge. When I took mine out, it felt half full, which is why I'm like, okay, there's gotta be a better way. So this is the better way. All right, so, um, and by the way, this is the perfect printer. I've had Canons, I've had HPs, I've had uh, everything you can imagine. I love the Brother. This one specifically, the MFC L3770 CDW. I'll throw a link into it here at the bottom. Um, if you read GroovyPost.com, you know that I only recommend the products uh, that I love. And, uh, you know, we have over 4 million readers each month. And um, you can't go wrong when it comes to this printer. Um, I just love it. And now that I know this trick on how you can pretty much double the life of your toner cartridge, I actually like this printer even more. So uh, I know what you're asking for. Steve, just, just do it. Like, stop wasting time. I hear you. So let's go ahead and check it out. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the printer because you need to get the message on your on your device that says cover is open okay um, if for some reason you're back at the home screen this trick will not work you need to make sure that you're in the menu cover is open okay so at this point you want to hit the back button and you want to hit the um, exit button simultaneously so hit them at the same time and then hit the back button okay and that's it all right, let's, let's try that again. Hit them both, then hit it again. Oh, sorry, I'm not in the covers open. I gotta get back in there. So I mentioned that, so there you go. So let's try it again, both and in the back, and then boom, you're in here. Now, what, what do you see in here? Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you take a look, you'll see that you have the K um, and then TNR STD. Now what that means is, the K stands for black, and black toner standard, and then high capacity. Uh, and if you keep going down, you have cyan, standard high capacity, magenta, and then yellow. So in this example, if you take a look at this, before I knew this trick, I had already bought a black high capacity toner cartridge right here. So you can see this is already, it's already the high capacity. So that's the one that I'm gonna reset, okay? This is a standard, standard high capacity. Um, but in this example, as I mentioned, I'm gonna reset the high capacity. So again, let's come back over here. We're gonna to get to black. Do you want to reset? Yes, I do. And it's really just that simple, okay? If we hit the home button, we head back, you can see already 
that it's been reset, toner life, and then there you go. It's back to 100%, okay? So just a really simple tip, close it up, hit the home button, you're back in business. As I mentioned, the, the main thing here is you don't wanna throw away a toner cartridge that may be as much as 50% full, okay? It's a waste of money. In my case, when I first uh, learned this tip, uh, one of my colors was out. I couldn't even print black and white um, only, and so I was able to reset the cartridge and then get another 50% of life out of it. So your mileage may vary. Um, you know, perform this at your own risk, obviously. Uh, you know, I don't think that this will void any type of warranty or it'll, it won't hurt your printer whatsoever. You know, worst case scenario, you go to print something um, and, you know, the colors don't come out. And that point, you, you know, okay, it's time to swap this thing out. So I hope that that, uh, that helps out. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop them here in the comments uh, or either on the blog or here on YouTube. And uh, thanks a lot. Again, Steve Krause from GurryPost.com. We'll talk to you later. Bye.